Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Here we have a Raspberry Pi Model A. Now, many of you will have seen the reset header video I shot where we put a header on this P6. There is actually another place for a header on the Raspberry Pi, and it's here. It's actually the P5 header but it's not labelled on the top because you're not supposed to solder pins on the top side you're actually supposed to put pins on the other side so underneath you can see it's labelled the P5 header there's eight holes for an eight pin header there's four available ports on that header the top two holes are voltage supply and the bottom two holes are ground if I remember that correctly for a long time I've been pondering the best way to put a header on and it's an interesting one because it throws up some interesting problems. The main problem is that it's so close to the P1 header which is the main 26 pin GPIO header. Why is that a problem? Well I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to put a header in the top side in the most obvious way that most people would think of to start with. Okay, so if you put an 8 pin straight header face up where you would obviously think it should go it's very close to the existing header and it makes it very difficult if not impossible to use with an add-on board like a girt board or even just to put a ribbon cable on you can put a ribbon cable on but look it's bang right up close against those pins you couldn't use those pins in that in that location simply because the ribbon cable would stop you sticking something onto them. So that's a problem. And in fact, the reason why it's labelled on the bottom like that is because the header is supposed to go on the bottom. But that in itself throws up some interesting problems. So today we're going to explore ways of solving those problems. So that was possibility number one. A straight header on the top side. Rejected, because you can't use add-on boards and ribbon cables and all the pins at once. Option two. A female header in the top position. That's actually even worse. You can't even fit the ribbon cable on because the sticking out bit on the ribbon cable actually is physically prevented from pushing down because these are fatter. So female header on top, not an option. You've got various different kinds of headers available on the market. You've got angular headers, both male and female. But neither of those are suitable for the top. Let's have a look underneath how it's designed to be used. So, underneath the way it's designed, you could put a straight one in like that. But it looks kind of ridiculous. It makes the board much bigger in this direction, look at that, how far that's sticking up. That's unacceptable to me, so forget about that one. Same position, but female. Well, it still sticks up, same as the other one did. I can see a, 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 an application for this if you actually wanted to mount your Raspberry Pi on another board. You could have one of those, and you could have it pressed down onto the other board with an 8-pin connection. That could actually work, but that's not what I want, so I'm rejecting that. What are the other possibilities? Right, we can get those angular ones out that I showed you before. So we've got the angular male connector. Now that could actually work, but it's a little bit messy, and I'm a little bit concerned about how close those pins all are together. Of course you could you could grind down or snip these pins here and the ones behind them to get this part flush. But then you've still got those pins sticking out the side. I don't really like that, so I'm rejecting that one. What about this one? The female angled one. I quite like that. If it could be done in such a way 
that those pins, the ends of those pins underneath were snipped so it could sit down quite flush to the board that would be a pretty good solution. It would still stop you using certain cases but see how much it would stick up, stick up above the board not very much, it doesn't actually increase the height of the board by very much, probably two millimeters above the SD card slot. That would be acceptable, but quite by accident when I was fooling around with this connector, trying silly different ways of connecting it, I thought I wonder what it looks like when you do that and I pushed it in and I looked at it from the other side and I saw oh look those pins don't stick up very much I wonder if that would be okay and then my finger slipped and they went angular and I thought, goodness me, that could be it. So I took an ordinary header, stuck that in from the bottom, and saw what that would look like, and angled them. And I thought, yes, there's enough room there. There's enough room there to fit everything in. So what I then did was I pushed, I took another one of those, and I pushed the pins all the way as high as they could possibly go into the plastic so that makes them as long as possible you can see the ones I've pushed in next to the ones I haven't pushed in alright so that makes them look really long so then what you do is you can push that through the holes where are we? okay we're over here alright now look what happens here if I angle that there is enough clearance there to put a girt board or a ribbon cable on. Let me show you just to prove it. Not only have you got a decent amount of clearance, but those ports, look how much space you've got. I can stick that in there. You can use those. Let's put a wire on just to show you. You can actually access the pins. So I haven't soldered it yet because I'm going to solder that in a minute and show, show you how that is. But let me just show you now how easy it is. You can put a girt board on and you've still got pretty good access to those pins. I'll show you that the other way around because the lighting's not very good. See that's when they're slanted at an angle you've got plenty of room to put things on those pins look at that so that's how I'm going to put mine on I'm going to solder it exactly like that so here we are back inside with the uh, female header still attached let's pull that off and see what happens okay so there's my pins with the plastic bit removed from the bottom soldered reasonably well. I'll get a macro photo of that so we can have a closer look. So, the header's there. The leaning header of Pi 5A. A little bit of solder on the pins but that doesn't matter. It won't stop me using them. I'm going to try it out now. So here I have the new ports all wired up and ready to go. What have I got them wired up to? I've got them wired up to a little LED surface mount LED board that I've made. On the other side there's a, a Darlington array so each GPIO port is connected to an LED and I've also used the 5 volt line and the which is the red one and the earth line ground line from the new header to power these LEDs uh, so I'm going to run a little script which is based on one of the Python girt board LEDs demos but only with four ports on just to see what the new ports do whether they work properly or not so I'm just going to fire that up hit enter and now we should see the LEDs light in sequence which they do They all seem to work. Splendid. And finally, just to show the whole concept works properly, I've just plugged the girt board in, and you can see there's still clearance 
those wires there's even a tiny gap in between look at that proof of concept it does what I wanted it to if you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel when the video finishes click on the I and click subscribe this was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.